Hello Sagittarius! Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the second half of November 2018 Career and Finance, Love and Romance, Spiritual Guidance reading. Whatever energies we pull today for this general message uh, will apply to most likely someone who needs this guidance most importantly. Now thank you to those of you who've been writing me and telling me that these are indeed your readings, your energies, your messages. It helps me more than you know. Now before I even started with my Lenormand spreads, for those of you who know that I go through these first and I clarify the energies that I am feeling, um, right away I saw energies of anxiety and new paths new directions, anxiety regarding where do I go next in my life. Uh, this particular Sagittarius that I'm feeling uh, has been receiving a lot of attention um, and f are feeling good about themselves, but again, they're carrying energies of anxiety in two different decks. So let's take a closer look. Okay. There's a burdening energy here. For whichever Sagittarius this is. There's a desire to hop, skip, and jump in a new direction, but there's a lot of anxiety tied to this idea or this thought. This particular Sagittarius energy is contemplating a new path ahead like I talked about before. And whether or not uh, someone or something is as devoted to them as they are when it comes to this new path ahead. This Sagittarius is <clears throat> hoping, wishing, and praying, hopefully, with the compass. That spirit's way of saying, I will guide you and help you to understand a karmic connection. There's a desire to move into a new path, a new direction, after what feels like a really long path. This Sagittarius will be receiving what it is that they're waiting for if they just wait a little bit longer. Wow, okay, so let's dig a little deeper. So yeah, there's definitely confusion here, needing to get more information regarding children, regarding someone from Saggy's past. Mm. Okay. All right, so mid-November, we'll say around the 15th to the 20th of November 2018, we have a Sagittarius energy that is receiving or wanting to send some form of communication. And they're trying to get to the truth of a situation by communicating. They're communicating about hopefully moving in a new direction. But they have some anxiety here. They have children on, in their thoughts and in their foundation. They have the energies of a fox. Maybe there is a child who isn't being completely honest. Or there's a playful situation that is causing energies of manipulation or sly and cunning behavior. So from the 20th to the 25th of November 2018... This particular Sagittarius is either sitting here contented in their path, bored, maybe even a bit mischievous, or Sagittarius is thinking about this feminine energy who's bored and maybe mischievous. They're trying to get their clarity when it comes to the one they're with or the one they're thinking of. We'll find more clarity as we move on. So towards the end of November 2018, we have this Sagittarius thinking about being kind, loving, giving, caring, and supportive of another, or they're receiving the attention and kindness from another um, through some form of texting or tweeting. In the outcome position representing also the end of November 2018 for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. We have the energies of the tree, which is about a karmic decision, a karmic connection, a long-term path, and somebody waiting at a distance. There may be communication from a boss, and this and, and Sagi is being guided to wait for that clarity, that communication. It will come, it is meant to come, but it's a timing thing for some reason. Yeah, 
this Sag is kind of saying, I want to hope, wish, and pray for something new because I'm about ready to bring an end to this situation, circumstance, however that applies. Um, we have meetings and negotiations. There isn't a meeting or, nego or negotiation taking place, and that's causing for this Sagittarius to be feeling the energies of burden. They thought a situation was karmic. But now I feel like it's the Sag saying, you know, it's all fun and games, but I don't know if I really want to be here. Uh, Spirit is saying, be careful what you wish for. You could make a mistake. Take your time. Yeah. And with the second Lenormand spread, representing the second half of November 2018, this particular Sagittarius is feeling burdened because of their anxiety. Hoping, wishing, and praying ooh, for a snake. Energies of lies and deceit, having the key to success to communicate. To maybe even travel into the direction of this loving, caring, giving, beautiful atmosphere, lifestyle situation. But they're needing to research more about maybe their partnership with where they're currently at some way. This Sagittarius is contemplating long term, their long term livelihood when it comes to their home, when it comes to their business, etc. So I'm going to step into the reading now using the Tarot of Dreams deck by Lee Burstyn. To clarify the messages we've already discussed, dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, for those born under the sun sign, moon sign, and or rising sign of Sagittarius for the second half of November 2018, career and finance, love and romance, spiritual guidance. So in the center of the circle spread, we've got a Sagittarius here who's just kind of feeling down, sad, depressed, or maybe is dealing with the energies of poverty consciousness, like they don't have enough. Now, from the 15th to the 20th in their thoughts position, this particular Sag is thinking, I'm ready for a brand new passionate direction already. I'm ready to create something new. And Spirit is offering the Sagittarius the Ace of Wands and saying, you can start a new creative, a new financial path if you so choose. Now in your relationship sector, representing the, <clears throat> I'm feeling more like the 20th to the 25th, this Sagittarius could be, yeah, in relationship to others, and I feel like this is a business situation because of the pentacles, somebody's dragging their feet and they're making the Sagittarius feel like they don't have enough financially. From the 20, around, yeah, I'll still say the 20th to the 25th, maybe even the 15th to the 25th. Uh, Spirit wants you guys to know that as you put your energy in, so too shall you receive. Have faith in the Six of Wands that there will be success and you may recognize success. <clears throat> maybe as soon as the 25th of November, 2018. Now in your actions position, Sagis, you have the Wheel of Fortune turning in your favor, though it is taking towards the end of November 2018. Emotionally, this Sagittarius is ready to race in and speak their truth and say what they want to say because they've had enough. But again, patience is such a virtue. Divine timing seems long to humans. So if subconsciously you guys are feeling like you've been down this path, it's been enough, you've had enough, you're pretty much put a fork in me, right? It's time to allow the, the frustrations, the worries, the fears, and concerns of the past to just dissipate. That path is done. And the only thing keeping these swords in your back are your, continue, your, your desire to continually think about negativity. So recognize what each difficult experience in your past taught you about yourself. And know that you are advancing. A new path is set to open up. And it's not going to be a difficult path. It's going to be an exciting path, financially or creatively. So if you know you're not getting anything during the second half of November 2018 and you're feeling a little impatient, it's a good time to come up with a creative project. Woodworking, pottery, uh, painting, drawing, writing, 
photography, okay? Day to day. Know that as you pray to Spirit with this major arcana, the star, Spirit is helping you to go from the energies of poverty consciousness to the energies of success, happiness, and joy. So in your inner strengths position, representing the second half of November 2018, Sagis, you are being guided to pray to Spirit and to have faith that the wheel of fortune will turn in your favor. I want to just almost say for sure by the end of November 2018. Now, in a three-card summary to my right with the same Tarot of Dreams deck, the first card is Spirit's way of saying, we are offering you the Nine of Coins. We are offering you the opportunity to find yourself in a very financially stable, secure, and content position in your life. Don't be afraid to check new avenues. Because what's causing you this heartache is this poverty consciousness we talked about. Feeling like this is all I have, this is all I have to bring with me wherever I go, right? As you think negatively about finances, you actually darken your aura and you repel finances from coming towards you. So that's why it's important to say, please spirit take the worries of finances off of me and replace those energies with exciting, successful opportunity and financial abundance. See, with the Eight of Swords, Spiritual advice is saying you are finding yourself stuck because of your own thoughts. The Eight of Swords is actually a figment of your imagination. Now is the perfect time to do the research, to ask the questions, to look in different locations for different opportunities, goals. Spirit is right there with you. Whether it's someone who passed before you, your spirit guides, your angels, or the dear Lord in heaven, you are actually going through a process of healing as soon as you decide to change your perspective when it comes to finances. From the 15th to the 20th. Now, the 20th to the 25th is either this particular Sagittarius taking a higher position of authority, a higher position of pay, or uh, creating their own side business where they become maybe their own owner of a company. Things could happen very quickly. This is where I'm seeing success. It may take until, like I said, the 15th to the 25th, and it may vary for all. Uh, the ability to say, look how far I've come. I redid my resume. I did, redid my CV. I've taken my attention away from worries and concerns about finances. I've decided to create another project in the evening and weekends and maybe even start up my own business. I know what I have learned and how far I have come. And I know how to create a more fulfilling path ahead for myself. I'm not afraid to leave troubled waters behind and to move towards more abundance, even if it's a new business, a new home, a new financial change in my life. I'm not afraid, right? Because the swords are gone. To use the Empress energies to manifest a brand new beginning, to give birth to something brand new in my life. And I know that as I get excited about my own goals and intentions about maybe a new project or idea that brings me financial abundance, that I can manifest the strength to speak my truth. Stand strong in your truth when it comes to your goals and intentions and don't mourn what happened in the past. By the end of November 2018, we do have uh, maybe a feminine energy here who has water in their chart, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or this is the advice to listen to your intuition as you have faith, the second half of November 2018, Sagittarius, to hope, wish, and pray to spirit, and to have the faith and trust to take your time to listen to your intuition, to think about how far you've come, and whether or not you want to stay where you're at or move on. An offer or opportunity could definitely come your way. By the 29th at the very latest of November 2018, where you can finally recognize that a path you're on no longer serves you. Now, there is someone here who may be thinking about a situation tied to their past that they walked away from or that they want to walk away from because someone very passionate may be coming in or a passionate idea may be coming in. Be careful what you wish for when it comes to other people, other communications and connections. Watch for addictions. 
Make sure someone who comes in quickly and unexpectedly doesn't knock you off your seat and make you become addicted to that passionate connection. Sagittarius, I feel like you want a brand new path in love or you want a renewal of love in the path that you're in. But you got to get clear with yourself about what or who you truly want moving forward as of mid-November 2018. You are the emperor. You are the boss of your path. You get to decide where your boundaries are, what your goals and intentions are, and whether or not you're happy day to day. If you're not, you have the emperor energies to get clear, organized, logical, disciplined, focused, and determined when it comes to cutting away from that which no longer serves you. Coming to the realization that a company that you thought was bright and shiny and great was an offer of an empty cup. Don't be afraid to communicate out with others regarding a new path or new direction because you could climb into a financially abundant and secure position. Yep, there'll be a decision, a karmic decision, at the end of November 2018. I also feel like Sagittarius, you may be, it may be that towards the end of the month, after focusing on a very playful connection, after thinking about maybe moving into a new direction with a feminine energy at a distance, or you're bored and mischievous. Someone around you may be bored and mischievous, and they may be communicating with someone who's financially abundant and secure. However, these things turn out, and of course, this is turning into many different readings. Um, Know that as you find joy and happiness day to day in your own path, that's really all you need. As people come and go, uh, let them come and go and know that everything is happening as it should. Um, but I do feel like financially, if you guys have been dragging your feet too about money and not wanting to leave a path behind, at least give your thoughts a chance by checking out what else might be on offer. There's nothing wrong with sending out applications or going to job interviews even while you're currently employed to see what else is on offer. Actually, interviews are very therapeutic. You learn a lot about how far you've come and you also uh, can see where you stand financially. If that person, you know, if a new offer doesn't offer you the same, you'll know where you stand and that will bring you a lot of clarity and contentment. Okay, so to close real quick, I'm going to read from the Wisdom of the House of Night deck by PC Cast and Colette Baron Reed, and this is spiritual advice. When you are worried or depressed, when you are concerned about finances, take some time to become invisible, to find your own space, to look into that magical mirror that reflects the child within, so that you can remember, what is it that I truly like to work on and do? What is it that brings me peace and happiness? Uh, in your thoughts, continue to hope, wish, and pray to Spirit for that bonus, that opportunity, and offer to come your way so that you can bring a conclusion to an old chapter in your life. However that applies. Now, in your relationship sector, somebody's been dragging their feet, or for some Sagittarius's, an offer that you're waiting for is complicating your energies. Now, when it comes into relationships with others, again, I feel like there may be some communication. I don't know if Sag is bored or if their spouse is bored and they may be communicating with someone who has earth in their chart or they may be communicating out trying to figure out their own financial circumstances. And that might be what's causing for the relationship sector to have the energies of complication. There may be too much worry about finances overall. <clears throat> so, from the 15th to the 25th, there are the energies of success and spirit saying, have hope. With the moon card, the moon is what represents hope. And without hope, the path ahead would be dark. So it's a time to push beyond your fears creatively, Sagittarius, and step into the light of success. The wheel of fortune you'll recognize is turning in your favor. For some, maybe as soon as the 15th. And for others, maybe not until the 29th. Either way, when it comes to your actions, be careful when it comes to partnerships, okay? The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor when it comes to creative ideas and finances. But I feel like because they do cross over into each other, if you are tempted by something that's very attractive, alluring, tempting, um, whatever this is, 
Remember that the rose has thorns and that beauty is only skin deep because if there's a karmic pull here, you're being called to kind of take your time and go back to center and work on a creative project or putting more applications in. Uh, yeah, when it comes to love emotionally, there may have to be some harsh discussions or if there are harsh discussions that need to be had regarding your love life or your commitment or your partnership, um, do so in a kind, fair, and just manner. Someone here may be bringing a conclusion to a partnership with a fire sign, Sagittarius or Leo, like yourself, and you may be wanting to move into the direction of someone who has air in their chart, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Subconsciously, there's a lot of sadness and regret. There's been not so much sadness and regret as it's like there's just been a long path. And it's like this Sag has had enough subconsciously. Um, but maybe, you know, they're just thinking more about that and not focusing on creating success in their life. So the Choices Angel is coming into the subconscious position and is saying, hey, Sag, you know, we've got a white wing and a black wing. It's white or black. Are you going to make a good choice or a bad choice? Are you going to sit and feel stagnant or are you going to find peace, joy, happiness, and contentment? Are you going to trust in prayer with the major arcana of the star? Knowing that spirit will help you in this path where you can create loyalty around you, within you. Being loyal to your goals and intentions, to your future directions, and knowing that spirit is there with you, helping to guide you to that success. Helping to, for you to have faith and trust. Amen. So, in your inner strengths position, spirit's giving you the strength when it comes to prayer and faith and trust. The strength to not take a risk, but to feel out other avenues, to find the clarity you need. And to know that if there is some temptation here, around the end of November 2018, this is a karmic situation. You could make a, an incorrect karmic decision and it will affect your financial position. Okay, so. And then positively, you can get excited and bring a conclusion to a current financial path and step into a, a very passionate, creative project or opportunity. Okay, so in a three-card summary to my right, they're saying mid-November 2000, uh, November 15th to the 20th, 2018, it's time to continue to set goals and meet goals when it comes to your home or business, when it comes to creative projects. This process is going to help for Sagittarius to release themselves from old sadness, pain, regret, anger, fear, especially anger and frustration. Spirit is helping to free you, your, you guys from the weight on your back when it comes to whatever and however that makes sense to you could be finances. They're trying to help you with the Nine of Cups to make your wishes come true. But you have to go through a very spiritual transformation of trusting and faith. I believe you guys are being called to listen to your intuition and to put your sword away and wait for divine timing when it comes to finances. From the 20th to the 25th of November 2018, don't allow yourself to fall into the energies of poverty consciousness. Ask for what you feel you deserve and continue to search out those who may pay you what you're worth. It's not about fighting a battle to maintain in an uncomfortable situation. It's about recognizing that the doorway behind you is wide open. And so is the opportunity for a happily ever after contentment and joy. But somebody is hung up on the fact that they were offered a false promise. And that's why they're waiting. By the end of November 2018, again, it's time for the swords to end. It's time for closure. It's time to manifest new paths ahead. I'm going to do a three-card summary with the House of Night deck. Recognize chaos in your life. And that things don't have the same perspective as you do. Know that the High Priestess is guiding you to bring you to the truth of a situation regarding career and finances. 
Take off the blindfold and speak your truth. Don't fall into the pattern of playfulness with the inability to cut away from, okay, well, this is a good position. Everybody's fun and great, but I'm not making enough money. There's also a temptation here, and spirit is blocking you from accepting that temptation in the second half of November 2018. When it comes to, I feel like it's another person. Maybe someone will come in with an offer and it'll sound real great, but don't don't move quite yet, okay? You have the strength by the end of November 2018 to, to recognize your own self-worth, what you're worth. You're going to start to build the energies of the movement card to independently move towards new goals and intentions, new ideas or offers. The High Priestess of Water is going to help you when it comes to your emotions, and the High Priestess of Earth is going to help guide you when it comes to finances. They're just saying be careful what you wish for. There's more for you to learn. Meditate to spirit for what fulfillment is like for you. What does a fulfilling life look alike for you in your path ahead? Because the closing information for Saggies for the second half of November 2018 is that this Sag feels trapped which is making them feel, uh, desire lustful, passionate connections. But the truth is, is it is your, it, 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 it's your visions that are going to help guide you into the correct direction. So it's a time to vision bigger, better, and more opportunities to make those come true, to vision happiness and joy day to day in your life with the ones you've been blessed with, and to vision what your future path is going to be about as you move forward towards that path in a happy, contented way, knowing where you're going and what you want. Wow. Interesting second half of November. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you'd like a personal reading, I'm available at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com, and my price list is below. Take care, and God bless.